here's a crazy story for you. Two complete strangers came to find out that they were both dating the same man. So the two women, they plotted their revenge. One of them had an upcoming trip with a 34 year old man to Turkey. So the other one bought a plane ticket and met the couple in the airport. They confronted him, leaving him speechless. The two women then went on vacation together, having changed all the reservations to cut out the cheater. They spent the entire trip getting to know one another. Then they even flew back to the state seated behind <laughs> their now ex boyfriend. So apparently this is a growing trend on TikTok, exposing cheaters and teaming up with the other woman. So what do you guys think of this? And would you want to spend your vacation like this? Al, why do you have a sourpuss look on I your face? I think this is super embarrassing. What? How about you move on like a grown up? You guys are <laughs> not you guys are not friends. Uh, Jeff, I always say we're not friends until we are. And this woman, I guarantee you when there are two women together like, oh yeah, girl, he's terrible. As soon as they have that little, oh, we're bonding sister s situation. As soon as that happens, the other one's going to try and ditch and get back with the no. dude. Because the one that got the plane ticket has all the leverage like hey at least I was the plane ticket one you weren't even going to turkey player Erica, what are you thinking look at Erica's talk face. to me Erica and tell me I'm lying Al's not lying. What? Yes, so yes, yes. Al's not I'm lying. Kind of, Thank listen, you. Misery loves company, and that's why they get together. That's why people who drink banana gin get together on the internet. <laughs> and it brings people together. These people are miserable together, so they commiserated together. That's okay, what they have one common enemy. Sometimes vengeance does taste good. Like this that's dude. That's not a saying. Um, Sam, I can Erica, make it a saying. Erica was agreeing with me. Okay, I did see Erica <laughs> agree with you. But listen, these two women were definitely scorned by this man, right? They both didn't know that he was with the other one. So it's not like that, you know, sometimes there's infidelity involved and you know that that person is actually in an active relationship. This wasn't the case. So if this it gave wasn't? them, if this, no, they both didn't, they both thought he was single is my point. Sometimes you have someone come in and they know that they're married or they oh, know that they're together. This gotcha. one, there Knowingly. was no nefarious actions from the women. They both were scorned. If this is what gave them peace, I love it because we always see sometimes you know the, the the headline is two women will get in a fight right and then the man gets off scot-free Scott. Erica was agreeing with me. I, and she's still well, agreeing with you. I, I am. Okay. I am. I mean, that, there's this idea that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. No, they not. You don't know that woman. But maybe they did <laughs> like each other. <laughs> like, you know, there's, there's the, well, no. They knew based on a crazy circumstance that now they're, now they're becoming friends. Like, that's, it just feels to me like you got a little bit too much time on your hands. I agree with Al. Mm. Good for Can you, I just girls. Leave the show I hope now. you girls had. <laughs> I hope you girls had fun in Turkey. I hope he is feeling shamed. Good for you. Coming up on DBL, she is the flashy girl from Flushing.